We are so thrilled to be a part of the uh, LA Greek Film Festival yet again this year. You know, we've been longtime supporters, and it's a part of our culture to support major Greek uh, artistic efforts like the LA Greek Film Festival. And you know, as you know, last year we uh, had our film debut of A Green Story, opening night of the LA Greek Film Festival. Your latest movie, Meteora, is opening tonight in Los Angeles. Tell us how do you feel? I feel very proud because it, it's a testament that uh, we should go out and do films. Three friends, we took a camera, we went up a mountain and we came down with a film. And no one believed we can end up in the official selection of the Berlin Film Festival. Primarily it was uh, three friends getting together trying to do something that would uh, highlight essentially some aspects of Greece that uh, haven't really been in a film before. But we wanted to wrestle with things that deal with the divine, spirituality, faith and love. The story is a very simple and uh, razor thin plot, which is a love story between an orthodox young Greek monk and a, an orthodox older nun, which is Russian. Uh, what is your role in the movie? I'm a monk who falls in love with a nun. I don't think it's delicate. What do you mean delicate? It's sensitive for the Greek public. Well, they should get over it because love exists and it exists everywhere. Monks fall in love with monks. Monks fall in love with nuns. And when I lived with monks in Ayoros, they said, yes, those things have happened. We don't talk about them, but they do happen. So, Well, I mean, we're still waiting to see the, the full response from Greece. Uh, once uh, we're able to release the movie uh, internationally. I initially didn't have any concern because I mean the, I don't think there should be a concern of for having to tell a, for wanting to tell a love story you know uh, a love story isn't something that uh, should uh, touch sensitivities in a negative way so so the the, the context around the, the love story was perhaps what was sensitive but my I didn't let myself block my creativity to write with Asimakis because of that. We then lived in, uh, for a week uh, or so up in the mountain in Ayoros with the monks and what I got from them, sorry, was like their eyes are like kids. They're so close to God, their eyes, they're like, like you're watching a kid. And when I saw that, I was like, okay, that's what I need for the role and I left. And you told them why you were there? And what was the reaction? The reaction was like, if God wants the movie to be made, it's going to be made. If God doesn't, it won't. So, go with God. I guess God wanted the movie to be made. I mean, this is great. I love film. I'm in the fashion part of film business, and it's, I'm here to support that effort too, and I think it's going to be a great movie. And, I, and I've been watching Greek movies my whole life, because, uh, you know, as a child, we used to go every weekend to see Greek films with my grandparents, with my Yaya and Bapu in Detroit. So, I'm excited to see this one. Well, this year I am involved as a presenter um, of both uh, a film tomorrow night that's screening, America, America, which I'm really excited about, and also presenting an Orpheus Award on Sunday night at the closing ceremony. I'm a producer and chief operating officer of uh, 1821 Pictures. Uh, I'm very excited to be here this year. Uh, I'm one of the panelists who will be judging some really exciting uh, filmmakers who have some really interesting projects and uh, I hope you know, it will be very interesting and also looking forward to seeing a lot of the great films that are showing this year. How is this for an actor to be judging other people's work? Um, it's not just about the acting, it's about the whole movie. It, it's, it's, it's tough, but I look at everything and not only the directing, the cinematography, the lighting, and there's been some great stuff this year. I'm very, very happy to be at the 7th Film Festival. I know that uh, the team of the festival with Ersi Danu, they worked very hard, and uh, we are waiting to watch all the interesting movies from Greece. Uh, my first film was Colombian, the second film was Greek. I'm starting to feel, of course, uh, much more comfortable with the public, with the international public right now, so perhaps the next film is going to be uh, what I am, uh, what, what, something that reflects more what I am, which is Greek-Colombian, you know, something that reflects both of my cultures.